14th Rabi' al-Thani. On this day, in the year 66 AH, the uprising of Mukhtar took place under the leadership of Mukhtar bin Abi Ubaid al thaqafi Its reason was to seek vengeance from the martyrs of Karbala. It led to the execution of people who were involved in the martyrdom of Imam al Hussein and his companions. For example, Ubaidullah bin Ziyad, Amr bin Sa'ad, Shimur bin Dhul Joshan, and Sinan bin Anas. When Yazid, the tyrannical, appointed Ubaidullah bin Ziyad the governor of Kufa and he arrested the followers of Imam al Hussein, peace be upon him, Mukhtar was one of those arrested. He remained in prison until Imam al Hussein, peace be upon him, was martyred. Then Abdullah bin Umar, his brother in law, interceded for him with Yazid and he accepted his intercession. Ubaidullah bin Ziyad released Mukhtar from prison, provided that he would not stay in Kufa for more than three days. Thus, Mukhtar headed towards Mecca, which was then under the rule of Abdullah bin Zubair. In his meeting with Abdullah bin Zubair, he said in response to the suggestion of people to pledge his allegiance to Abdullah, that his goal and Abdullah's goal diverge. And thus, it would not be advisable for him to pledge his allegiance to Ibn Zubair. However, after the insistence of people, he pledged his allegiance to Abdullah bin Zubair on two conditions. Number one, Abdullah bin Zubair had to consult him with respect to all affairs and never does anything on his own and never opposes him. Number two, Abdullah should give Mukhtar the highest ranking position in his government. Mukhtar went from Mecca to Kufa and arrived in Kufa six months after Yazid's death on the 15th of Shah Ramadan. At that time, Abdullah bin Muti' was the governor of Kufa sent by Abdullah bin Zubair. On Friday, the 15th of Rabi' al Awwal, 66 AH, Mukhtar entered the palace of Kufa. People said the Friday prayer behind him. Before the prayer, he delivered two sermons in which he explained the goals of his uprising. After the prayer, the allegiance ceremony was held. After entering Kufa, Mukhtar received an invitation from Suleiman bin Surad al Khuzai and members of the Tawwabun uprising. He refused to cooperate with them. He told people of Kufa that Suleiman was not experienced enough to launch a war and is ignorant of the secrets of a war. Umar bin Sa'ad went to the ruler of Kufa and told him that Tawwabun were no threat to him. The real threat for Kufa, as he said, was Mukhtar. Thus Mukhtar was imprisoned by agents of Abdullah bin Zubair when Tawwabun launched their battle. Allama Majlisi quoted Ibn Nama as saying that Muhammad bin Hanafiyya took Mukhtar to Imam Sajjad in order to ask him about their obligations. Imam said, Dear uncle, if a slave rises to support us, others are obliged to help him. I appoint you as my representative with respect to this, so do whatever you find appropriate.